Baby Crypto Pig here, and I'm here locked into this vortex of hell. And I'm here to tell you to join old Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing on YouTube Partner to sidestep and audible the criminal gangster cartel. Hello! ...to wrestle with whether or not I go back to work or not. Uh, the data shows that uh, there's a... Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing, you can see the U.S. dollar is coming down today. The gold and silver price, especially silver, is having a little bit of a squeeze to the upside as some of the sellers and short sellers are getting liquidated out of the market today. Uh, if we start off with the Bitcoin price on this morning update, as I got a lot of nonsense and mumbo jumbo that I'm dealing with here at the old office at Rivion, you can see we've broken out to the upside from yesterday's uh, topic right here. We've crossed that critical 21,747.97. And if we zoom into the hour time frame, we're going to do this update. What I would look for now is your next upside target is 24,96569, something that we went over of this past little rising wedge that we had there. And up here would be your upside target. If this continues to pump up, that would be your upper resistance. And then if you were going to get bearish, if you break this red support line right there at, at 21,747.97, your downside target would be a double bottom at the top part of this blue support zone at 1948. If you look at Luna Classic, you can see We've now actually started to come down where we thought we would. We've crossed the 200-day, and if this continues to come down, you're going to come down to your 200-day in the longer time frame, which is our first underneath target if we broke this uptrend that we've been talking about since it was down here, and it finally did break that uptrend. And then we went over how it back-tested it there, got rejected, and that's a bearish confirmation. And what might be going on here now is this is going to come all the way back down to this underneath 0 0.00020391, which is the technical target out of a rising channel slash wedge, depending on how you want to look at this up here, would be down here at the bottom of the wedge, which would be pretty close to that 20391 underneath support. So that's what I'm looking at for Luna Classic. If I look at the Ethereum price, you can see we bumped right up against that blue uh, ring that we had at 1825.69 and we said that that would be a big major upper resistance and you can see it's sort of starting to round the top here and if you don't get some buyers to come in the jackie all the way up here to the top of this 1900 mark you're going to come down initially to the 200 and then if you get below this red resistance box which is the volume indicator it would trade you down towards that green uh, fib circle so your overhead resistance is the fib circle you're running up against now your underneath support is the fib circle that you have below it which is sitting down there at about 1507.58 and you have an 1825 initial resistance and a 1900 major upper resistance that we're going to watch out for. XRP is the same thing. You can see from the last time we talked, it did bounce off that bottom part of that, uh, the top part of that red resistance box, which is the volume indicator. And we pumped all the way back up to this major range that we've been getting rejected by repeatedly for the last, I don't know, two and a half months up there near that 37 cents. So if you're going to try to get bullish and continue this pump, you got to break that 37 cents, which is your major upper resistance, or you're going to end up coming back down to the top part of this red support box, which is down here at about 31 and a half cents, 32 cents down here, right? This is where you would trade on down to if you can't get by that 37 cent level that we've been trying to break for, it seems like two and a half months now since early June, since we've dipped below it. So in the short term, in the, in the micro time frame, the 37 cents is major upper resistance, 32 cents is major lower support. And those are the two levels that you need to watch out for. If you're going to try to break out to the upside, you can see XLM is continuing its nice pump coming from that 10 and three quarter cents major support level. And it's coming up near that 12 and a half cent major upper resistance. And that would be your support and resistance today. 12 and a half cents is your major upper resistance. The 10 and three quarter cents is your major lower support. And then if we look at Raven, you can see it actually is getting rejected now after this little pump off from the lower support. And what I would watch it for is for this to hold these moving averages and then you can continue to the upside, maybe hit that upper target of 0 0.00150204. Or if you get below this moving averages, you're going to come back down and back test this major underneath support at bunch of zeros, 85393. And then DAP real quick, a look at, you can see it actually did... See that DAP did exactly what we thought it was going to do. When we were talking here, you buy this support level down here. You got to buy this support level down here at uh, 0 
And then you got to sell this major upper resistance and rod, and it did exactly that. It pumped up, and now it's coming right back down again. And if you want to play the pattern, when it gets back down into here again, that's when you would buy, and then you would sell in this red resistance box. Like, subscribe, and share. Peace and love to you, yes, you, the beautiful audience.